Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Pizza Maker 8000 back with another Toontown video. Now, today will be my last video on Toontown Relive. So, if you guys did not hear, they are going to be permanently closing down their server on June 17th, 2020 at 3 o'clock Toontown time. Now, you know, this is, of course, sad. You know, I never want to see a server end up going down or, you know, if I had an influence or whatever the case may be. A lot of people were commenting in my videos, pinging me on Discord, PMing me, all the stuff saying, you know, Pizza Make, you killed this server. You know, the server's shutting down now because of your videos. And I'm just thinking, like, bro, there's there's no way that my videos could influence somebody that much. It's not like my, you know, my videos only been out, like, two, three days now. There's no way they could influence somebody that much to close their entire game. And that's not my goal, man. I come up here... You know, I'm just an honest critique, bro. I feel like that's that's one of the, you know, I'm super honest, bro. If I don't like something, I'm going to say it because it's like a tough love aspect, bro. If the game is shit and I come up here, I'm like, oh, yeah, this game is great, this and that. And then, you know, they're going to be like, okay, hey, the game is good. Well, it's not fix nothing. But if I say, hey, you know, it's shit, you need to fix A, B, C, and D, and they fix A, B, C, and D, then, you know, it becomes a better game. So I never want to see a Toontown server close completely, but, you know, if you've never played this server and you're like, damn, you know, I only have till June 17th to play this game, you know, it's, it's, you know, you're not missing shit. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your storage on your computer. Do not download this shit game. I know it's closing, but this game is extreme shit. And, you know, and I even said, bro, if they only have, you know, two, four players online, you know, there's no point of them even keeping servers up if it's been like this for months upon, you know, months upon months. So, you know, but with this news, I have seen the player count jump. It went from one to now it's at... Two. <laughs> oh, oh, that was some dickhead shit to do. I'm sorry, man. That was that was that was a dickhead shit of me to say. But you know, one of the people who is you know part of this game actually reached out to me in my Discord and said, "Pizza Maker 8000, the closure decision was something we had been considering for months. Neither you, your videos, or your influence had or would have ever have any effect over the decision we would make in regards to that." So when I heard that, I'm like, "Okay, good. I don't want to be." No one is like, oh, yo, this is the guy that fucking shut down this game because he gave a shitty server review and this and that. And it's like, my, my one single opinion, bro, should not, you know, shift or, you know, your priorities. If you like the game and if you created the game and you hear somebody talk shit about it, you don't just give up on the game. Which, of course, is not the case here. But I don't want that pinned on me like that I like expected of me to come here and every time I review a server from now on, I got to be conscious and be like, oh, let me not say something you know, too far off the wall, something mean, so somebody quits, bro, you know, don't be a pussy, bro, you know, if you don't like what I say, don't watch the video, you know what I'm saying, you come up here, you're gonna get, you know, an honest truth, I'm gonna curse, I'm gonna tell you what I do and don't like, but, like I said, man, I hate to see this game go, even though this game is complete shit, just seeing the Toontown community fall and become, like, less and less servers, but, apparently, somebody in my Discord is telling me that they work on a couple other servers as well, most of the team, so, it's not like they're going nowhere, you know, for good. They're just going to be shifting their attention towards another server, which I think in the long run is smart because if this game really doesn't have any chance of being revived or anything, this game is pretty much done -zo. So it was kind of smart for them to do this and go ahead and work on other servers with other people to try to grow those servers because this server had absolutely no fucking chance of growing. But like I said, man, that's really it. Sorry I had to bring you guys this news. You know, it's always sad to see a Toontown server die out. Just like Toontown Infinite, except this server will not be missed like Toontown Infinite will. Nowhere to the nowhere near the extent of that. But still sad to see. But this is a prime example of what I've talked about in the past, man. If these smaller servers would, you know, just like realize like, hey man, you know, and this is the thing, man. Toontown, as much as I hate to say, Toontown is not gaining any more players. It's really just people switching from rewritten to corporate clash to Tuniversal to, you know, ODS to all it's no there's nobody coming in 2020. And it's sad to say, bro. There's nobody coming in 2020 to start playing Toontown for the first time in their life. It's just, you know, it's just not feasible. It's not going to happen. So that's why I'm saying, like, these servers, if we want to, you know, grow this community and have it to, to, like, at least somewhat to the extent of what it used to be, man, these communities and these servers have to come together. You know, you got people like Toontown written, you know, fucking holding on files to make everything 3D and shit like that. But, you know, some people might see this game on YouTube and they're like, nah, I don't want to play it because, you know, the graphics are shit or, you know, whatever the case may be. That, them holding those files for, for however long they had them, and I'll probably make a video on that. If you guys want to hear a video on me, you know, giving my opinions on that whole Panda 3D shit, comment it down below. But, you know, it's shit like that that, you know, tears the community apart. When you got these servers that are, like, don't want to work with each other and they don't want to do this, you know, 
this game realized like, hey, you know, our game isn't growing. It's only getting smaller. It's only getting less active. It's only getting this. They even said that like the only time people ever really hop on is whenever the the mods hop on and give people beans and shit. And it's like, damn, you know, we're kind of just wasting our time here. And it's true, man. It's like it sounds like some dickhead shit to say, but it's true. If you're wasting your time, then initially you need to go ahead and you know close the server you need to go ahead and combine with another server maybe something like ods i know it has like 20 players you know ods this fellowship i know all these servers that don't have too much of a population if they were to work together because everybody says oh they have small stat that's why they can't push out updates they have small stat that's why they can't you know add that much to the game they have small stat for this if you were to combine three or four different staffs from four three or four different games then you know you're probably looking at the same size as Corporate Clash or the same size as, you know, Universal Studios, bro. Like, you guys have to realize, and this is what people have to say, like, drop the ego. Like, you're not getting paid to keep up, fucking relive the open. You're not getting paid to keep these servers open. If you don't have active players, bro, either, you know, quit entirely or, like, you know, if you want to actually have a server that you're like, damn, you know, people like my server, people like what I'm doing. You have to, like, you know, get rid of the ego and get rid of the ego and be like, okay, let's go ahead. Let's close down the game. Let's uh, talk to ODST. They closed down their game. Let's talk to this server. They closed down their game. This server closed down their game. And let's work together and make one great server that's completely different, you know? We can intertwine some of the stuff from ODS, some of the stuff that we had in Relive, some of the stuff from this. You know, Relive has field offices, you know, has law about field offices. You know, ODS has that opening scene. They have, uh, you know, then you got fucking, what's that other server with the fucking added new gags? You know, all these servers bring something. All these servers bring one or two things to the table, which doesn't really carry no weight. But once you have, you know five or six different servers bringing one thing to the table you can make an entirely different game instead of just having one a game that has one different one thing different if you make a game that has six or seven things different from all these teams bringing all these ideas and all these stuff then you know that is the way that you would grow a game not necessarily just you know having a toontown rewritten clone and changing oh you know the doodle hats or changing this or changing something so minor as to like not make nobody switch to that server if that makes sense and you know relived you know it's sad to see them farewell to them this game was shit, but I think they realized, like, hey, you know, th this, you know, we're not getting any more popular. We got to, you know, cut off the string. So they are working on, I heard, two Universal Studios. I think one of them is on ODS and one of them is on Corporate Clash. So they have definitely time invested elsewhere with other servers. So hopefully other servers see this and, you know, we can make, like, one great game. That's my end goal, man. I want to have one great server, you know, Corporate clashes, gags, corporate clashes, how you play, two universals, teleport to the shop, two universals, gags, you know, two Titans population, you know, stuff from all these different, imagine all these different games intertwined to one Toontown game, they just called it Toontown Forever, Toontown, you know, Toontown fuck knows, poopy face, you know, whatever the fuck they want to call the name, but if we were to have something like that, man, I think that initially we could actually make this Toontown community grow rather than individual servers growing because nobody is coming to pick up toontown in 2020 and it sounds like some dickhead shit to say but it's just the truth man so that's really all i got to say on my little rant about that again if you guys want to hear me speak about you know that panda 3d shit with toontown written you know i'd be happy to make a video on it i just don't know if anybody would want to I know uh, it was that's really it man don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe my live stream will be on wednesday at 6 p.m Probably 24 hours after I post this video, I'll be posting the link so you guys can have it, you know, there like I did with my last live stream. So come out, support. You know, you can go ahead and do CFOs with me. If you don't have a CFO suit now, go ahead and grind that shit out. That way, when it's go time, you are more than welcome to come with me. I'm just going to basically go in the elevator, and, you know, whoever comes in, comes in, bro. And we're just going to keep doing runs like that all night. If you're a, you know, a high suit, you can knock out a cashman, you know, a bully and whatever the case may be. And for my lower suits, I'll just go fight some cogs in the HQ. Maybe fight four or five, get my promotion, go back in and keep on doing that with you guys until we run out of people. So, you know, if we go for four or five hours, bro, we go for four or five hours. So, like I said, man, it's your boy Pizza Maker 8000. I'm out.